Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to improve the battery life on your LG G5. Now this depends on your carrier and it's going to vary because certain carriers you can do certain things and other carriers you can't. The other thing I want to note is sometimes carriers have a specific thing that will actually drain your battery life and so I'll go over a couple of those as well. So the first thing we're going to do is simply go into the app drawer and you're going to hit the triple dot right here and you're gonna uninstall some of the apps. Now, I personally don't like this one as compared to other competitors simply because it doesn't show you that you can actually uninstall more than just the ones with the X's. Although you may think, oh, well I can't install any of the other ones such as the carrier bloatware, you actually can, but it's a bit trickier. Still, this way allows you to get rid of some things such as Evernote or Quick Memo, two things that I got rid of on the speeding up video. But you also want to mainly get rid of uh, apps that drain your battery life like crazy, specifically in this case, uh, for this carrier, Lookout. How do you do that? You're going to go to General in the Settings section and then go under Apps. And then you're going to search for apps that may drain your battery life that you have no intention of using such as device unlock for this carrier. I have no intention of using that. So now this will make it so it's not running in the background and draining my battery. The main one I also, uh, again, got rid of beforehand was Lookout. Lookout drains your battery more than any other app you have built in on this phone. It's extremely horrible and you wanna get rid of it as soon as you can. So that's the first thing to get rid of. Other apps you might want to get rid of uh, is something like Google's apps that you have no intention of using. Personally, I do not like Newsstand. I just don't read newspapers or um, anything that Newsstand really offers. So for that purpose, I will get rid of that. You can also get rid of other ones you don't use. I personally use Google Movies and Music. Those are two you can get rid of though if you don't use it um, and so on and so forth. These are just apps that if you don't ever intend to use it, then you want to get rid of it. So that's the whole idea. I don't plan on using LG's built-in music app, so I can get rid of that right there. And again, all of the built-in blowware from like T-Mobile or whichever carrier. If you have Verizon, if you have AT&T, you can get rid of all of that built-in blowware, but I don't like how it kind of misleads you thinking that you can't. So there you have it. So that's the first step. Second step is going under settings going to location, and then going under the three dots up here at the top, and tapping scanning. Under scanning, you want to turn off Bluetooth scanning. What this does is it constantly uses Bluetooth in the background, even if you don't need to use Bluetooth and your Bluetooth is off, Bluetooth will actually stay on and constantly scan to tell your location. Don't really need that. So then we're gonna go home and for T-Mobile, you have a different one from this carrier that it drains your battery life. So you're gonna to go to phone, you're gonna hit the triple dot up here, you're gonna to go to call settings, and then you're going to turn off voice over LTE. This will typically drain your call a much, much faster than uh, it should, and that will save you about two hours of battery life on this LG G5. Other carriers will have different things in the network section. So uh, for Verizon, you will have advanced calling. If you turn that off, it will uh, drain your battery life less. And for AT&T, it'll have enhanced uh, calling, which again, will drain your battery life less. So if you turn those off, they will drain your battery life less and you'll have a better battery. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. If you did miss our how to speed up your phone video, make sure to check that out as well. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.